have a witchy haul for you. All kinds of fun stuff. Wooden wands, cute cat clothing, all kinds of fun stuff, and even some dragons. But first, I'm Morticia. This is my darling husband Gomez and his beautiful shirt from our last witchy haul. If you missed it, check it out. We will link it below. It's from our friend Karen. It's the magician, just as he is. And here's our roommate, Slappy. I should get him a tarot shirt, but I don't know if he cares. But wouldn't he look charming? Always. He would look so charming. You would look charming, dear. Okay, so let's get into um, the Swiss Colony. is a company that has anything from really good food to good desserts, like really good cheesecakes and all kinds of cakes and stuff, and cheese trays, and really fun for parties to clothing. And they have some really nice, lovely, warm clothing, and apparently some cute summer pajamas. My mom sent me. This is so cute. Morning Grump is totally me without my coffee. And it has a gray malkin on it. We love the cats. It's very nice. So that is going to be nice when it's very hot in the summer, which it gets. I like the gray top. Not so much the pink shorts, but I will survive. Think about loving energy. I don't own a lot of pink, so we call it expanding one's character. <laughs> and it has a drawstring, which is nice, so you can make it comfy and adjust to your size. Again, they're short, lightweight, really good for the summer. And I'm all into my self-expression clothes. I doubt they had a different color choice or they didn't have it in because Mom knows I don't love pink. But she probably knew I would have to have the shirt, which I do. So thank you, Mommy. I love you. The next item, Gomez and I got ourselves these wand pendants for Christmas because we wanted to um, basically work with... He wanted blackthorn, I wanted willow, and we wanted to do some work with them together. But we already have large wooden wands that were not interested in us acquiring more. Every time I looked at smaller ones, they just weren't calling to us. So I saw these wand pendants online, and I thought, what an interesting, cool idea. I've done that with gemstones, but not with regular wands, like wooden wand pendants. And we saw these online, and they're so cool. Um, so we got them for ourselves for like a Yule gift that we share. His came from Italy, mine came from France. We ordered them the same night, but they came today on the same day. And so that's really kind of neat because we ordered them to use as a set. And they both came today. And, you know, how likely is that that the sellers would, you know, send them at the same time? And Italy and France overseas takes a while. These did not. I didn't even expect us to get them in time for Yule. And they came together. It was amazing. So magical. Yes. It ha here has a description of Blackthorn. And it says that... It is also known as quickthorn or slow. Blackthorn provides very strong protection, especially of the home, and can be used in magic to deter unwanted visitors. It is said to protect against malevolent magic. It can also be used in exorcism. And here is the picture of how it works. I like how happy you sounded about exorcism. <laughs> exorcism. I'm like, let's have tea or an exorcism. Yes. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like something to do. And then it came with this. The wand maker seems very um, adept. They are from Etsy. And I will link both of our shops that we got our ones at for you guys. Uh, this certificate mentions that the item has been given an oiled finish. If the wood starts to look dull and lifeless, simply wipe with a clean cloth moistened with organic extra virgin olive oil. Not virgin blood? We're not going to kill anybody? That would be my first choice. Alright. And then they suggest to leave it for one hour, then buff with a clean cloth. Or take it in the shower with you and then put wood oil on it. Okay, so then it came with this. And this is uh, a personal thank you for buying uh, the one that's talking about itself, so it says for buying me. Oh, that's cute. That's cool. So that was adorable. It looks like a certificate. It doesn't say certificate, but it looks like it nicely the way they're usually arranged. So I like the special touch. So that was very nice. Both of these were roughly, like they might have been $28, $29, but with shipping roughly like $30 each. And they both came in padded envelopes. And now this is wrapped in tissue paper. I will let Gomez hold and unveil his wand. I'd like to see what it's like, but we won't let him do that. It's a wand pendant. It's just such a neat idea. And it was perfect because the others just weren't quite clicking. Look at the beauty. It's all dark brown with a black cord. It matches the picture uh, roughly in outline. How do you think it feels? It feels nice. 
welcoming. Nice. It's not tied from the mail, the way some of them get. I know sometimes we get things in the mail, like stones or whatever, and they're just like, you know, I'll hang out with you eventually, but I did not like being tossed about in the mail, so I need some me time. <laughs> <laughs> So we have to kind of let them have that. Oh look, yours has a bead on top like mine. Yeah. Except um, his bead on top is a little bit more of a natural shape. I already opened mine and looked, but mine's more like uniform, where his is like a little bit more gnarled like the wand. I wanted a willow wood wand pendant, and the same wand maker did not seem to have one, so I got mine from France. So mine has a little bit of notch on its little wood bead too. But this is my wand. It's shorter than Gomez's, but it's also gnarled, kind of a brown color as well, so that's interesting. This is willow wood. I was very interested in the properties of willow because of the fact that it does a lot of, um, it does magic and it does psychic intuition and a lot of things that I really like working with, um, spellcrafting, and I love the psychic intuition. It's just, we're all psychic and it's just keeping yours honed and whatnot. Now, Gomez's has just a cord that you tie a knot in, and mine has the slip knots on either side that you can make it longer or shorter by pulling it in the knots. So either way, it works. His cord is thicker. Mine is thinner, so it's like, you know, your preference. And you can easily just take it off and put it on another cord if you, or in this case, I or we want to do that. Now I'm going to try to put it on, and I'll show you the cool dragons we got. Oh, dear. This is very, mine is very perfumed. It's a very strong perfume. Don't know if it was some kind of wood oil, but uh, I guess eventually I will go against the advice and shower with him because it's very perfumey. Um, and it has the Agam symbol carved on, which is Irish. Would you like to talk about it, Gomez? Oh, the Ogham was given as an alphabet of magic and mysticism similar to the runes, except this one was given to the Celtic people by the god Angus something, or Angus Ogma. Og. Uh, or the dog, depending on which one. Angus Og is the love god. I have to read actually who did it, but... Yes. Um, we can give you a link on that below. We always talk about stuff. I'll give you a link. We read so much. If it's not accurate, the link will correct us. But um, it's interesting to have it carved onto the willow. Um, it was described as being drawn on, but it kind of feels like it was carved, but they said not to wear it in the shower, so if it was drawn on, it will just come off, which I don't see the point. Wood is so soft, why didn't they carve it in? I'll probably have Gomez do that if I decide to keep it, um, as far as keep the symbol on the wand. But I mainly got it for its willowness, and I'm very excited to work with it. Very cool. It feels like a very powerful, great piece. It came wrapped in brown paper. Gomez's was wrapped in tissue. And before we move to the dragons, I will give the... Blackthorn one, one last shout out in comparison and show it a little bit closer. There's the cool bead on top of his, the thicker cord. His wand is longer. And these are pretty expensive considering longer wands are the same price that are not pendants, but I guess it's having the novelty of having it made into a pendant and drilled right and put on a cord. So they're going to be a fun pair. They feel great together and I'm very excited to work with them. I'm happy with our Yule gifts to ourselves, which of course we spoiled and got early, but that's okay because we're going to get more from other people, so you know. Now these dragon pendants are eerily similar, and I didn't know this when I ordered this one, to the Alchemy Gothic um, Whitby Worm that I recently reviewed for myself, so that's kind of cool. I got that for me. Um, and check this out. We got these for supplies to sell. I'm going to add stones to them and stuff, but it's very similar. I like mine a little better. There's a little different detailing. This one's wing is more expanded. This is actually more 3D, which I usually like. Um, his face is chunkier than mine is a little bit more elongated so they're different but they're very similar it's very interesting um, these are stainless steel there are five of them for eighteen dollars from a crafty kind of um, warehouse sort of place that's in China that I will send the link to but the wings like I said are in a little bit different position but it's very 3d very detailed and if you want to get one for yourself and get gifts for other people or sell them, this is a really good deal. I thought mine was a good deal for 20 but these were 5 for 20 and very similar. So, nice mystical kind of dragon magic and dragon power. So I thought that would be witchy hall worthy to include and show you guys. And I will leave a link to where that came from as well. So that's been our second witchy haul recently. We've gotten a lot of witchy stuff lately. So we hope you enjoyed and until next time. Stay with you, my friends.